concerned about the fact that the minister of DOPT Shri Jitendra Singh has repeatedly uh, misled the parliament and also made incorrect statements on the floor of the house regarding very important anti-corruption legislations in the last one year. The whistleblower's protection law was passed by the parliament in the year 2014. However, it hasn't been operationalized by the government till date. Instead, amendments to dilute the bill were introduced in parliament without any public consultations. Members of parliament from across party lines demanded that the bill be referred to a select committee, which was never done. However, on the floor of the House, Dr. Jitendra Singh said that the bill had in fact been sent to a select committee. When an RTI application was filed, it became clear that the bill had never been referred to any parliamentary committee ever. The Lokpal law was passed by the parliament in the year 2013. Not a single Lokpal has been appointed so far because there is no recognized leader of opposition. A simple amendment needed to be made to the Lokpal law to provide that instead of a recognized leader of opposition, the leader of the single largest opposition party in Lok Sabha would be on the selection committee to select the Lokpal. Instead, the government introduced an amendment bill to the Lokpal law which severely diluted its asset disclosure provisions. The bill was passed in a great hurry on the assurance of Dr. Jitendra Singh that it will be referred back to a parliamentary standing committee after it was passed. A recent RTI has however shown that the bill has not, the act has not been referred to any parliamentary standing committee. Another important element of an anti-corruption framework was the grievance redress law. A bill was introduced in the year 2011 in parliament to bring in place a legislation to redress grievances of people in a time-bound manner. Unfortunately, with the dissolution of the Lok Sabha in 2014, the bill lapsed. The bill had the support of all political parties, including the Bharatiya Janata Party. The, there were senior leaders who are currently ministers in the government stated that this was an important legislation that needed to be passed and assured that if they came to power, they would pass this legislation. After coming to power, a letter was written by the Prime Minister's office that it was an immediate thrust area of the government to reintroduce the Grievance Redress Bill in Parliament. However, in response to a parliamentary question in the year 2016, the concerned minister stated on the floor of the House that instead of bringing in a legislation, a scheme to redress grievances of citizens 2015 had been prepared. When an RTI application was filed to access a copy of the said scheme, the response of the concerned ministry was that the scheme was still under consideration and therefore a copy could not even be shared with citizens. These kinds of factually incorrect and misleading statements are a matter of great concern.